Reggie just left the company and he knew where all the certificates are. Oh, snap. Quantum cryptography, U.S. White House cybersecurity orders, IT staff turnover, and sticky notes under your laptop. I tell you, folks, all of these present challenges to certificate management in the modern IT enterprise. My name is Ashley McGlone. Welcome to Tanium Tech Talks. And today, as usual, we're going to talk about some new things that Tanium has in store for you. We've been working on solving some problems that customers have been asking about. One of those happens to be certificate management. And you might be thinking, now, wait a minute. I thought Tanium already had some content for certificates. And we do. But it's even better now. And here with me today, as usual, I've got a SME. His name is Danny Hallberg. And he's going to tell us what's coming uh, right now, available right now from Tanium in the realm of certificate management. Welcome to the show, Danny. Hey, Ashley. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I've been with Tanium for almost four years now, been in the industry for Man, it's over 25 at this point. Um, I'm, I'm actually a technical product manager. I've done uh, lead SME stuff, Tim's in the Teeny Morgue, and kind of moved all around and love to, to find all these problems and solve them. And my latest uh, challenge I've been working on certificate manager, and it's been a ball to, to, to jump into. It's a lot of fun. And, and I'll tell our audience too, Danny has quite a reputation for building really cool things at Tanium. But Danny is one of those guys who's on the edge, always pushing the envelope. What can we do better with Tanium? So I'm glad you are here today to tell us what is going on in the world of certificate management. What were customers asking for that we didn't have? Yeah. So you kind of brought up some of the things in your, your, your intro is that you know, we have there's certificate sprawl out there. How many certificates are where? Um, we've got outages happening because certificates are expiring. We've got security concerns with um, are the ciphers we're using secure? Do we have secure certificates? Yeah, you know, along with compliance. And then to add to it, you know, there's a lot more on the government, federal, and, and financial side of, hey, what's going to happen with quantum cryptography? The the, uh, the White House put out a a presidential um, directive to say, federal agencies, you need to, to get an inventory of your certificates and your um, your ciphers out there because before too long, the the, uh, the quantum computers are going to kind of overturn the apple cart on what's secure and what isn't. So that's that's a lot of the things we've been hearing from customers, and and it's become a major request from customers to is to make something that can can show them what the certificates they have what they're, how secure are those certificates and how secure are the services that are running those certificates. Yeah. And, and I'm just thinking, I hate to even bring it up, but to add insult to injury, I mean, it's, it's no secret that there's been so many uh, layoffs and so much staff turnover in the all across the IT industry right now. And there's a lot of tribal knowledge that's kind of walked out the door knowing where the certificates are buried. I'm just thinking, when I come to work tomorrow, uh, what's going to, or am I going to get that 3 a.m. call, right? Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. uh, the certificates have expired. Uh, and, you know, the sometimes the trouble, too, is it, it takes you a while maybe to figure out that it's a certificate that is the root cause of the, the trouble sometimes. To, to kind of go on is that maybe you're still around and... Um, some of your colleagues have gone and Reggie's no longer here. He's on vacation or maybe he's been, he's no longer with the company and you don't know what you don't know. Um, like it, it, the, the beauty of this content is it falls along the line of Tanium's, hey, let's get everything visible. Let's bring everything to, to, to light and see what's out there. Um, and it really does a good job of doing that. That's kind of leads to my next question then. So there are a lot of certificate solutions in the industry today, but what is unique to the way Tanium does it? The, the, the big thing that we do differently is what we do differently across the board from most of the point solutions. We've got an agent on your system. We have a way to easily transfer data back and forth to the, to the endpoints and back. Um, we're already on most of the endpoints. So you don't need to add another agent. Um, we're able to listen, look at not only listing services, but also stuff that's in, in the certificate store and on, on the file system for Linux machines. There, there's, those are areas you don't typically see um, those other solutions hit. 
Uh, and once you start talking about listening services, what is the service? Maybe you know the port. What's the actual process you're, you're running? These are some key differentiators. And, and hopefully, as long as, this, as everything goes well, we're going to start adding actionability and be able to do some remediations. That's our, that's our end goal with this. If we can get there that'll take us up a pretty significant step over a lot of these other companies. Uh, before we get too far along here, Danny, let's go ahead and just jump straight into the demo. Let's go ahead and go right into Certificate Manager. And I want to, first off, give you a, a couple of things that we do is we're servicing lots of different, um, lots of different stuff. So in this environment, we have almost 800,000 certificates. However, that's not the only thing you worry about. It's just the number. Um, when um, you've got certificates and ciphers, they're there to help ensure you've got secure communications, but they gotta be used correctly. Certificates, as we, we've talked about, they can expire. And when they expire, you have a service outage. Um, if you have uh, ciphers that are weak, you've got uh, uh, communications that people can potentially read. These are all obviously really bad things, but what, what can we do? What can, how can you find those? Um, with Certificate Manager, you can see certificates that are expiring on listing services, as well as um, across the enterprise, whether they are root certificates that are expiring, client certificates. Um, these are the, this is the, the kind of stuff we can take and, and, and show. Um, you can look at a certificate that, that's expiring, and there you look at the list of certificates that, that's expiring, and you can see a fair amount of information. You can see um, if it's a listing port, what listing port is it on? Uh, what is the subject of the certificate? All the details of that, that certificate on the listing port is, is available. Uh, this becomes a report that you can take and you can send through, um, uh, you can send out through connect to an email. So you can not just take this report and look at it through the dashboard, but you can get this to the people's hands, the, 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 get this in the people's inbox that are gonna be able to, to remediate and fix these things. You can send it once a week whatever makes sense, but this is something that you're able to take out. The other thing we find is that outside of just, you know, finding expired certificates, what about the insecure ones? If you take, let's take short keys, for example. Um, this would be how the certificate is made. If it's got a short key, it's gonna be easier to crack. Um, if you have a, a weak hash algorithm, that's gonna make it so that it could potentially be copied or, or a fraudulent certificate could be made based on that. We also are able to listen to wildcard certificates and we can find them. I've got another environment here where I've got a couple and you can see where wildcard certificates show up. This is a very interesting um, uh, challenge for customers because wildcard certificates aren't, are by nature, they're not gonna be on one computer. They're gonna be on lots. So you're gonna have lots of different services that have this. So it's gonna be kind of hard to track down where they're all at. Um, and also there's, there's a potential vulnerability risk because it, assumes you trust that, that, that system. So you kind of want to know where all these are at in your environment. Do you want them in dev environments? Do you only want them in prod? There's a lot of things that can happen with start card certificates, but if you don't know they're there, you don't know they're there. Um, you, we can also look at certificate authorities. So you can just determine, hey, I, I have too many self-signed certificates. I have too many unauthorized. And this is a list you can actually customize so that- Hey man, you can I, I got to just call it, you're throwing trash on my lawn, man. You know, like wild cards, <laughs> self-signed. I mean, these are all the shortcuts people take, you know, when they're just trying to get something working, right? <laughs> so, yeah. and the, However, you know, self-signed isn't necessarily a bad thing because maybe your organization is self-signing those. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, but if you don't know what you don't know, you're going to have trash all over your lawn regardless. So now <laughs> you want to see the trash. I mean, it's, I mean, if you turn off the lights, it's, the trash is still there. Yeah, so this helps yeah. you figure out where it's at so you can clean it up. All right, man. I'm with you. Um, and then, you know, the, the certificates are one thing, but you start thinking about um, ciphers and, you know, what, what is a cipher? A cipher is essentially the method that the, the, the web server or the service uses to um, secure that data. It encrypts it in a particular manner. Some of those are going to be weak. Some of those are going to be strong. Some of those are going to be kind of in the middle. Um, this is where we talked about uh, cryptography earlier. Is it quantum computers are going to start figuring out how to, they're going to take the time from cracking an encryption from years or decades down to minutes. And if you have an old cipher or vulnerable one, they're already vulnerable now. So what's going to happen when quantum computers come around, they're going to be useless. It's going to be the same thing as running over an un unencrypted connection. So this allows you to look and see which ports do I have that are listening? 
I can look at the ciphers on those ports, and you can also say, hey, what's the what's the weakest cipher on those ports? Because uh, uh, the the service's strength is only as strong as its weakest is its weakest cipher. So we can take this information. We can target. Hey, I got 50, 57 services I need to look at and fix. I got two that are fine. Maybe I want to increase them later, but I need to focus on these fifty seven. And it makes it so that you have some targeted uh, remediation planning. It's a it's a neat way to look at it. That's not just a big bucket of certificates or a big bucket of ciphers. You take this and you, this is actually actionable stuff. I'm guessing I can click on any one of those bars and just kind of Absolutely. drill down. Absolutely, you click on something like. Um, 3389, which is RDP, RDP. Yeah, you I was going to say that that uh, that's a lot of RDP going on, and there's a lot of other issues with RDP as well. We want to make sure it patched. Right, right, and yeah. that shows you what's out there right now. And it, and the RDP is should be an easy one to fix, but because if you've got you know 100 machines, you're going to have 300 different or 500 different uh, um, ciphers out there. How can we how can we fix that? And that's 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 the challenge we're trying to, to figure out. What can we do to help fix it? And what do our customers need? Because this isn't going to be just about um, uh, what Tanium can do. But I want to hear what our customers have and what what are our customers' challenges? Where do they want? Where do they see the most value? Where do they where do they want to get? Yeah. So we're talking about let's let's keep going down here to the post quantum cryptography. So this is a this is actually calling out something new. At, this is a complete sidebar. All right. Sure. I, I just learned this at our internal training recently is that we now have in the reporting grid, when you design your own reports, you can put text boxes in there now. So here we've got an example of that that's explaining what's the deal with the post quantum cryptography. That's really helpful. Yeah. The idea is that we can explain it more than, you know, it'll be a little more in your face than just a community article and you know, feed will, will show that up. It only pops up once, but I want, we want this to, to, to be out there because this is going to be a big thing. And if customers know that this is coming, they're going to want to secure their stuff. And at the end of the day, we want to help customers have more, better and more secure environments. Yeah. And one of the things that you said earlier that got my attention was this will find certificate files at rest on Linux endpoints. Could you talk about that a little bit more? Sure. Right now, we're looking in a few locations. So these are the, the file certificates. The certificate store in Windows is kind of a database that stores um, active certificates used for, for IIS or other web services. It also stores root certificates and client certificates. Linux doesn't have that database structure. So they store it in, um, in a couple different areas. So under PKI um, and, uh, and I think Etsy PKI and Etsy SSL, we, they, they store things like, what are, your, what are the, the, the trusted root certificates? Where are those at? Um, right now, we're looking in a couple locations. Um, we, have, we, we would like to, to start utilizing some of our other services to, to, to expand farther upon that. Um, we just want to make sure that we're getting good, valuable data and not just noise. So part of the, what's in these files are going to be root certificates. Things that we, we want to know is, do we have the right root certificates? Do we have the root certificates in there that we trust? We do, then great. If not, let's find a way to pull them out. Um, there's a lot of different options in here uh, to, to look at this data. Um, I had a, a, a customer ask me the other day, if we can separate out country. And if we can separate out country, do we want every country uh, that, that produces a, a certificate authority to be trusted? If we do, maybe mm. we don't. That we, we would love to be able to have that be bubbled up so the, so the customer can figure that out to determine from themselves if that's what they want. That's fascinating. Let's go back one page. I want to see the other locations there. So we got certificate sources. So we got file, search store, list and port. Nice. Lots of uh, locations there. Certificate issuers. Boy, this just really, uh, this really highlights the power of Tanium reporting just to surface all of this uh, visibility. We've had some customers already kicking the tires on this. What's been some of the early feedback so far? So early feedback was a lot of, hey, this is a lot of data. What do I do with it? Um, in earlier versions of this, we didn't have listing, listing services separated out. Most of the feedback is really focused around, wow, this is huge. Um, if you look in our demo environment, there's 735,000 certificates. That's a lot. But if you, if you break it down to services, there's 78. And you start, as, as we're getting customers, a lot of the, 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 the questions are, this is cool stuff. What do I do with it? How do I make this better? What does this actually mean? We've got lots of data. 
And we've already started making um, newer versions with, with better information. So focusing in on those listing ports, focusing in on root certificates and not just the, the overall. So our, our, our focus is gonna be more on making this, this, this data valuable to customers. Um, they seem to really like the fact that this is there, but we're, we're, we're constantly gonna improve this and make this have more valuable information for them. Okay, so I've just watched this demo and I think, Yes, I do need this. I needed it yesterday. How do I get this uh, in Tanium? Is it available on-prem, cloud? You know, What do I need to know to, to get this going in my environment, prerequisites, that kind of thing? So as it's going right now, um, we're looking at GA, I believe, by the, hopefully by the time this area will be GA. Um, and that would be ideally both in cloud and on-prem. The only prerequisites, you have to have all the core and you have to have um, reporting, ideally the latest reporting. But um, most versions of reporting work just fine with this, but that's it. And um, uh -huh. beyond that, we're going to send out a, a package that runs on a regular basis and, and you're going to capture the way you capture all the other data through TDS. Okay. So that's, that's a good thing to call out how it works on the back end. We're just running a package, good old fashioned mm -hmm. Tanium. It's going to collect that data and then throw it up in TDS, which bing, 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 that means offline shows up in the results as well. Nice. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, if a server's offline, um, we got a bigger problem. But, you know, normally certificates, we're not worried about as much on workstations, but, you know, it could be if they're, they're up and down. So actually, I, I, the, the customers are, are, are asking about client certificates and Wi Fi certificates, things that, ah, that maybe. Yeah. You, yeah. So that's, that's what, I, that's, that's the information I'm looking to get back. So one of our chat, one of our, our next things we're going to try to add to this is how can we separate out client certificates in here and, and, sh and bubble them up better. So listening services are great, but there's more. Um, oh yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, Wi-Fi and VPN certificates, boom, right there. I mean, work from home, you know, all those certificates went crazy trying to get them out there on all the machines as they're taking their desktop home. I mean, that was what we were doing two years ago. Yep. So yeah, this man. Yeah. A lot of applicability here. Well, you know, we were doing that. We were, we were taking desktops and we were taking laptops home two years ago, but now we're starting to bring them back. So customers want to know, hey, do they have the right Wi-Fi certificates before they come in the office? Because they uh -huh. want to help make sure their customer, their, their their customers, which are their their end users, come in the office already working and not have to go and fix something just to just to get on the Wi-Fi. So mm -hmm. that's one of the, the the neat use cases we've we've been uh, we've seen. That's fantastic, Danny. Anything else before we wrap up today? Uh, no, I don't think so. Just reach out to your account manager, your DSA to, to, to ask for this and would love to get a POC and get some feedback to see what, what is good about this and what do you want to know more? That's, that's what I love. I want to get you some more info. So Danny, thanks again for joining us on the show today to walk us through what Tanium has delivered in the realm of certificate management. As we've called out today, there's so many practical use cases, everything from, from Wi-Fi certificates to quantum cryptography reporting, all kinds of things driving this. So uh, I'm really grateful to see this coming out of our uh, engineering and again, we always want your feedback. If you just talk to uh, whoever's on your Tanium account team, whether that's your technical account manager, your ESC, your DSA, whatever uh, other acronym, Tanium title, you know, let them know that you'd like a POC. There's another acronym, proof of concept, right? So let us know if you'd like to see this uh, in your environment, see what kind of surprises you can find uh, where the certificates are buried. Uh, also, we have some resources for you today uh, in the show notes. There are some links to docs and a community article. Make sure to check those out for more information on how to get started with this solution. And that wraps us up for this Tanium Tech Talk. So until next time, go Tanium.